Hey guys, in this video I decided to do a detailed foundation routine just so I can attach the link of this video into my future videos to save you guys from watching me do my face over and over again. So if you'd like to know how I do my foundation, then please keep watching. Okay, so the first thing I do after I cleanse my face in the morning or whenever I put on makeup, I always cleanse my face. And then I apply my Dermalogica Active Moist Moisturizer. This is amazing if you have oily skin. It's just probably the best moisturizer I've ever, ever used in my life. So after about 10 minutes, I wait for that to kind of set into my skin. And then I go ahead and put on my Hourglass Veal Primer. This is probably my favorite primer ever. If I'm not wearing this, I'm either wearing this, which is a Stila One Step Correct. So today I decided to put on my Hourglass. I only need like one um, squirt for my face. Just because I don't really want to use too much because it is super expensive. I guess I don't usually like to put my foundation on straight away. I kind of like let that kind of sink into my skin. Usually when that's happening I do my eyebrows but I'm going to do a in-depth brow tutorial so I'm just going to wait a little bit before I apply my foundation. Okay so the foundation that I'm going to use today is my Revlon Colorstay. It's an old favorite and I haven't worn it for ages now but I use the one for combination slash oily skin. If you guys didn't know they have different bottles for different skin types. I think there's combination to dry, normal to combination and then combination to oily so I obviously pick up the combination to oily skin. Um, this is in the color 250 Fresh Beige. I think this color will most kind of suit my fading tan at the moment. So I'm just going to squirt a few pumps on the metal slab. Um, I got this from eBay and it came with a little mixing spatula. I think it was like $10 and it came within like two days. I just seem to put it on this rather than the back of my hand because your hand obviously can absorb some product and I don't really like wasting. So I'm just going to pump two, three pumps onto this thingy in my bob. And then with my damp beauty blender, I'm just going to first dot the foundation on my face and then just blend it in using dabbing motion. You don't want to go like this because it will pretty much just rub the foundation straight off and it won't give you as flawless of a finish than dabbing does. If you're not willing to spend $30 on one of these, you can get the Real Techniques Miracle Sponge from Priceline. I think they're about $12, but if you go onto iHerb.com, you can actually pick them up for $6. I have a discount code that I will link down below. I think you get like $10 or 10% off your first order. I can't remember, but I'll link everything down below. So I'm just working that into my skin. This is probably the most important step um, for creating a flawless base. So you're going to want to spend the most time doing this step. Okay, so these parts of my nose always gather um, foundation. So what I like to do is lift it up and really pack the product there just with the tail. Okay, so next, this has only been in my foundation routine for like a few weeks now. It is the L'Oreal Glam Bronze Liquid Bronzer. And I'm going to shake it up because last time heaps of water came out of it. Just want to make sure you shake it. And then you only need like two or three drops of this. I'm just going to put that on here as well. I just put four drops, great. And then I like to use that with this kind of stippling brush. I got this from eBay, you can get it in a set with five brushes and I think they were like five dollars or something. I'll leave everything down below if you're interested. So what I'm actually doing is just placing it on the bits where I usually bronze. So here, 
all up my temples. On my jawline. Under my chin to hide the double chin going on there. And then what you want to do is just blend it. And when you're blending it, blend it upwards. Okay, so next I'm just going to conceal my under eye area. I'm just going to be using my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the color NC15. So I'm just going to apply that with a synthetic um, narrow sort of brush. This product is really thick, so you're going to have to work really really quickly with it so after that you just grab your beauty blender and make sure it's damp and just work that in to your under eye area so I don't usually like highlighting the middle of my face with that concealer because it is really thick so I like to use my instant age rewind concealer in the color fair clear just to highlight my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, on my cupid's bow, and here. And if I'm going out, I would um, highlight um, underneath my contour, but I don't want it to be so drastic, so I'm just going to stick with that. And then just blending it in. Okay, now to set my under eye area, I'm just going to take my favorite setting powder, which is the Ben Nye Luxury Banana Powder. And I'm just going to take that on my damp beauty blender and patting that where I just applied that MAC Pro Longwear. So I'm just going to take this kind of tapered brush and just use that to get in the parts of my nose is where it separates okay so now that my concealer is all set in place I'm just going to set the rest of my face with my Astralis fresh and flawless and I'm just going to take that on my Too Faced Kabuki brush I got this for my birthday so I probably wouldn't have it if my friend didn't buy it for me but any big fluffy kabuki brush will do the job. And then because I get a really, really oily T-zone, I like to put the Essence All About Matte Fix Loose Powder. It's just a white sort of translucent powder and I just like to put that um, down my T-zone. So next up, I bronze my face using my Essence Sun Club Bronzer for Brunettes. I only picked this one up the other week, actually, probably about three weeks ago or something. I absolutely love the way that this looks on my skin tone. So I'm just going to apply this with my 101 Lux Face Definer Brush by Zoeva. And I'm just putting that in the places where I put the cream bronzer. And then to contour, I use my Hula by Benefit. It's my favorite contouring products ever. I'm not really going for a harsh contour today, so I'm just going to use this angled Jessup brush and just popping that in the hollows of my cheeks. And a little bit on my forehead. Underneath my chin. And a little bit underneath my lips. Okay, so now for contouring my nose, I'm not usually a really big nose contouring gal, but 
to contour today, I'm just going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. And I'm just going to use that colour called Fawn. And I'm just going to use that on my 109 Lux Face Paint Brush by Zoeva. This is the brush that I usually use to contour my cheekbones. But once again, I'm going to say again and again and again, if you don't have a brush like this, you can just grab any fluffy brush and just put two bobby pins on either side and that will create that narrow kind of brush top for a nice contour. Okay, and for blush, I'm not usually a big blush fan, but the blush that I always use is my MAC Well Dressed Blush. It's just a really nice light pink shade. It's not very pigmented or overpowering, so I just like to put that on the backs of my cheeks just to give my skin a little bit of a flush. So last but not least, um, the highlighter that I will be using is my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. It comes with three colours. I actually really don't know what the colours are. Okay. Dim light incandescent. Okay, I'm going to struggle with pronouncing these. So this colour in the middle is called Incandescent Light and this is the shade that I use for highlighting my cheekbones, my cupid's bow and down the bridge of my nose. This colour here, which is the darkest colour of the palette, is called Dim Light and I like to dust that over my contour. It just makes it look so natural, even though I know contouring is not natural, but I just love the look. And this first colour here is called Radiant Light and you're supposed to dust that all over your face, but I'm not really a fan of the whole glowy look, especially because I do have oily skin. Even though I use MAC products, it just always turns out looking dewy, so... So I'm just going to use my 105 Lux Highlight Brush by Zoeva. And then taking Incandescent Light, I'm just going to be popping that on the highest points of my cheekbones and to my brow bone in a kind of reverse C shape. And then I'm just going to go a bit more on my Cupid's bow, down the bridge of my nose, a little bit on the tip. So I'm just going to grab Dim Light, which is the darkest one, just on my bronzing brush and just sweeping that over my contour. It's really subtle, but it just, I don't know what it makes it look like. It just makes it look so amazing. I know I'm really weird. And so this pretty much is my flawless foundation routine if I'm going out clubbing or if I just want a really flawless face for going to work, shopping, anything in general. If I want to put a full face of makeup on, this is the routine that I use. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you already aren't and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.